Hello Python programmers. So in this video, we're gonna create a PDF file and then insert the text into it. Now let me explain this in more detail. Now we're gonna first create a PDF file using our fpdf library. If you're not having this, please pip install it. Then we'll be inserting our text which will be stored into a variable and we'll also set the fonts and size of our text so without wasting any time let's get started okay so now we are into our editor let me first import our libraries from f pdf import all caps fpdf then we are gonna save the fpdf class of this module into a pdf variable we are gonna create a pdf variable and then we'll save this fpdf class into this then we'll simply add our page pdf dot add page then we'll set the style of our font and the size of our font dot set font now I want my font to be Arial and also of the size 12 Now let's create our cell PDF dot cell. The coordinates is two hundred and ten, and the text that we want to store into this is to I know Python. This will be stored in line uh, just a second. This will be stored in the line first. We are going to add two lines, and the align will be center. For center, we have this capital C. Now we are gonna add another cell. I'll just copy paste this one. I'll just replace the text. Here we go. And the line number will be second. Okay, so now as we have inputted all our data into our PDF file let me save this by the name one dot PDF you can name it whatever you want let me save this go back to my editor shift plus mouse right click open PowerShell window here PDF is not defined because this should not be capital, this should be small. Let's run this again. And I guess our PDF will be created. Yes. If I open this PDF, so here you can see at the first line in the center, welcome to. I know Python on the second line here we go now if you want to make this program more 
advanced what you can do here is you can create a txt file with whatever data you want to enter and then using file handling you can first extract the data from your txt file and then push it or insert it into your pdf file so if you want something related video for that the link is above this is it for this video and i'll meet you in the next lecture bye bye